Welcome everyone to part three of our Vintage Honda CB350 seat restoration video series. I'll leave links to parts one and two in the comments below just in case you missed the earlier videos and want to do a little catch up. So yeah, let's not waste any more time and jump right back into it. Put it on there and I'm going to want to cut a little excess off here and try some white white vinyl dye on it and see if I can cut a Honda stencil so we can put Honda back there. Boy, it's going to be tight. So that's kind of cool that they switched cheese that from the factory. I think we take the bread knife and we cut the thickness of this camping mat off straight across and then we can use any good material here to fill in the hole. But I think we'll take chop this off and we'll take any good foam and we'll glue it down in here and trim off with the bread knife just a touch so it's nice uh some nice new foam not this chalky crap and then we'll glue down a couple layers of the camping mat and then we'll use the sander to get the get the right shape here shape it up. yeah and the good thing about this uh close cell foam just take the DA sander and just, it, <laughs> we, sands we, we, nice. we, it sands really nice. Only problem is it's a little stiff, but for how cheap it is. What's that, like $10 for that mat? Right there, yeah. <laughs> At least $11, I mm -hmm. don't like it. All right, so, <laughs> cut that bread. All right, man. You know, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be too scared about doing this, dude. Because it's already screwed. Yeah, it's pretty bad shape, right? <laughs> can't, can't, can't break broken. Can't break broken. Yeah. Or if we were smart, we could actually just measure how tall we need it to be. But that requires walking over and grabbing a measuring tape. No. See, we'll eventually need to cut this off, but I was just kind of thinking we can use that as a reference. Yeah, I think we'll leave it like that. Just, just a little tiny bit of it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Do, would you normally like start here or start there? No. It's plugged in. Now. You're talking to me like a North Pole. I don't know. You've done it before. Yeah. Nice. Perfect. Fill this in and still make it fairly soft where you're going to be sitting. That's a, yeah, the one bad thing about the camping mat is it's very, very firm. <laughs> okay, so now what I think we'll do is we'll cut some pieces to Cut some there. of that crap out of there and we'll put some of the original foam in that spot and then the rest of this usable original foam. Try to build we'll that put that up there, and then at that point, probably like two layers of the blue, blue. camp, or maybe like one layer of the blue camp foam, Swiss cheese like this, and then, one. and then one layer solid, and then that solid one we can sand to the shape and shape it. Wow. So yeah, I think this little region right here will pop in there. Cool. Let's go have a beer. Yep, it's done. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Uh, but my thoughts were I'll take and chop off another layer of this good stuff here and put that right there on there so you, so you have a majority of your original foam in that it might just kind of feel a little bit harder to the touch when you touch the vinyl, mm -hmm. but I think it's still gonna be plenty of give. Oh yeah. So let's blow this thing off and clean it up and put some, get, go get some glue. So what you wanna do first is undo everything you're doing here. Because <laughs> <laughs> we, we need to spray glue down first. <laughs> that's, that's correct. Everything you're doing is bad. I want you to know this. I want you to know this. All right, off. so what we're gonna be using is the high strength 90. 
you want to take some of that and spray that kind of like in that whole region. A little more. A little more. Make sure it's on the side foam and on the metal really good. Yep, yeah, that looks good there. About that much glue on the foam itself and we'll let it set up for about oh, two or three minutes and we should be able to go in there and move on to the next layer. Yeah, <laughs> works perfect. Yeah, we'll just cut off the old crusties and we'll glue that down and we should have a fairly even thing and then we'll just layer the blue foam na 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 until the right height and at that point we'll use the this thing's tight it's like, electric. I mean the colors it's it's gotta be from the 50s right oh yeah 60s yeah. hopefully there's enough foam here to do some good some good stuff with Nice. Should be okay. If you can kind of tacky. feel where, where, where the glue stays on the piece. You, right there, it's starting to get set up right. But sometimes it, this is still coming off of my finger, but if it, right there, that's ready to rock and roll. Nice. Where it doesn't stick to your finger, but it sticks, stays on the foam. So he's ready. I don't know exactly how we had this, but I really don't think it matters. No. Perfect. I think we're good, dude. So I think now we'll. Glue. Put a layer of glue there. We'll put this piece on it. Let's do it. Here comes the glue. Yeah, I know 3M makes a, a foam specific glue, but everything I built using this high strength 90, this stuff, like that is probably about 10 layers of, not 10 layers of a gym mat. Make sure that surface is touching that surface. Did you see this edge? Are you happy with that edge? I'm not at all, thank you. Ooh, <laughs> she's sticking. Let's try, let's, let's try to be better this time. There you go. All right, and then after that, you just take, you just squish that cat, you squish it. <laughs> there, I really squish that cat. That yeah, squish so that we'll cat. Yeah, so leave that uh, sit for a bit. And... That's funny. The table took it. Yeah. Yeah, so that is set up. I think we'll take, where's your map? My map. It's time to unwrap the map. The unboxing. So what's this? This is the uh, like $10 Walmart camping mat. Doesn't look very comfortable for camping. But it's basically a pool noodle. But look though, your shoes, it's so comfortable your shoes will fly off. <laughs> so what we'll do is probably glue down two layers of this over the top of this guy and then sand everything to shape. All right, let's grab the glue. Scissors working okay, or is a razor knife a better idea? Yeah, that's Good enough. Bit. Kind of crooked, of course. That's perfect, though. That's what you want. Yeah. Lay that down flat. <clears throat> Give it a little. No, let's let's glue it first. Lay it down over here. And, uh... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Got that <by> glue <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Don't waste the glue. Yeah, we're almost out of glue. <laughs> now let's, let's sit for a few minutes here before we press them on. Let's squish that cat. <laughs> oh, this is gonna. This is. This feels fine. You're not gonna notice the extra stiffness. Oh yeah, I like that actually. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Sandbag off there. Sandbag. Whoa, 70 pounds. <laughs> well, let's get the glue on it. Get the glue going. 
You don't have to go up by my hand. I don't need all this. <laughs> Very, very nice. Yeah, I was a little worried about it. Oh, yeah. That's firmer foam, but I think we got enough factory foam though. This is going to look really nice, especially for 10 bucks. Oh, yeah. Feel that burn. Feel that burn. You get that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're all bonded together here. I kind of wish I would have shaved that off, so I think I'm going to take the bread knife. Uh, this direction along here and make this all nice and smooth. Dog, get it up, get it. I will end you with this bread knife. <laughs> yeah, just like this. Oh, hit the metal. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. But the problem is, we probably should have filled that in before, but we can take a little bit of something and glue that in there. Yeah, but I'll take and just bevel off that with the bread knife, and then we'll use the DA sander, but this, this uh, pool noodle camping man, Yeah, nice and easily that we'll get, we'll get, we'll get around round everything off nice to the original shape and it should work good. Thanks again, everybody, for sticking around and putting up with us, Yahoo's. Now, here's a little sneak peek of what we got going on next week. After we finish sanding and shaping our new pool noodle seat foam down, we're going to chop up some carpet tack strips and show you a little magic trick on how to lay down your brand new vinyl seat perfectly smooth. So be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on us laying down some new chrome trim putting together the hardware that we nickel plated last week and spraying down a little Honda logo on the back of the seat. And again, if you like what I'm doing, please click the thumbs up like button on your way out. It really helped me out. Take care and I'll see you next week. I hope you like this episode of Bigfoot Bikes and Brews. Click on one of the videos here if you want to see some more. And please click on the Bigfoot button to subscribe to the channel and join in on the fun. See you next week.